and uh, the rules the rules especially like uh, for regular people most of them don't understand the ground game when they are like watching UFC and other MMA fights um, this is interesting because it doesn't have like uh, any 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 ground game you you can uh, like uh, execute some uh, throws or takedowns and after that you can do like only 5 seconds ground and pound and after that, the referee again stands you up and you are just uh, striking. And the striking is also different. You cannot like compare it to kickboxing or tie boxing or something else yeah. because uh, most of most of the guys, like all of the guys are karate guys there and they're like uh, throwing like flashy stuff, spin, spinning techniques and everything like that. So it's uh, different than kickboxing or Muay Thai. That's what makes it, that's what makes it exciting, I think, because... You can in MMA if you throw a spinning, I don't know, tornado kick or something like this. If you're facing a wrestler, you've instantly made yourself in a big. Tra- Unless you hit them, you're in trouble. So, it I think it definitely allows you to display really like fun and different techniques. It's nice in in the combat cry. It's good. Yeah. Speaking of which, I I saw you do a, a jump and a kick. It was a it was a. 180 jump in the end of a round you try to kick someone with like the back of your foot i'm like wow this, this, this is insane <laughs> <laughs> it made no sense like it was it was unreal yeah you 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 can risk in these like uh in karate combat you then you can do like more risky stuff like these like yeah. rolling thunders tornado kicks uh spinning stuff uh but uh, in mma we also see see that uh as well it's like uh high risk high reward but uh mm. Not as usually, not not uh, not as uh, the same in uh, in karate combat. In karate combat, you can see more more flashy stuff. Yeah, I was gonna ask you: Is there anything that okay? You you, you know, there's some really cool, interesting rules uh, that you've already brought up. So first of all, there's only three three minute rounds, right? With a possibility of two more rounds, and they it seems like to me they score the rounds in between, so you already know what you're getting into. It's not like UFC where it's like you have to wait to the last round, right? Do they decide who wins rounds in between the fight? Mm, when, when, no, when we are fighting, we don't know. The oh, you don't know? Okay, okay. No. So that was just a post-edit then I saw. Okay. But but there, can, there can't be draws, right? There, It has to go to a sudden death round? Is that how that works? So, yeah. Uh, the regular fight, fights are three minutes, three rounds uh, and three minutes. So the title fights, as for me, are five rounds. And if it's a draw, they can go to this like sudden death round. So whoever wins that round, that extra round, uh, is gonna be uh, the victor there. Right. Uh, the, some other rules. I don't know if this one changed. There was no uppercuts. Is there still no uppercuts? No, there is uppercuts. There is uppercuts now. Okay, that was just yeah. the earlier rule then. Um, what? Where does the rule come from? No leg kick between like the thigh area. It's 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 hard to answer this question uh, because um, probably the, the, this one you have to ask uh, the karate combat. But as far as I like, uh, as far as I think, probably it's because you know um, they want to see like more movement, more like karate guys like have more like footwork and stuff like that. Uh, probably because of uh, this thing, but. Uh, Mm. Yeah. I would I wouldn't mind if if they add like uh, l- like low kicks to the tie as well. It's uh, part of karate, especially when when you look you when you look at uh, Kyokushin fighters, they that's their bread and butter to have the low kicks in there. Yeah, right. You're so also maybe, wearing this long maybe, pants. You can't see the damage you're doing. That's another interesting part. I think that maybe some people don't or don't think about. Where in the UFC, when you when you give someone a leg kick, immediately you see the damage. You see how much you've you put in. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe a little but, different in, in, the, in that, yeah. But um, calf kicks are like uh, effective as well, as we can see, not just in karate combat, but in MMA. It has become very popular to throw calf kicks, and probably. If you like land two clean calf kicks, uh, your muscle will be like uh, dead. Uh, for the tie, for the tie, probably you have to land more because everybody is already used to like taking the kicks to the tie and stuff like that. But but to the calf, if you go to that uh, nerve, just maybe it just you sometimes 
I have landed in sparring just one calf kick and that's it. Their really? leg is gone. <laughs> just yeah, turned yeah. off, shut off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, that brings up, the rules are really interesting. Is there anything that you'd like to see change? Is there something you, that you like from other organizations that you would like to see in karate combat? Maybe it's the, the kicks to the tie. To the Maybe tie. That, that, that's yeah. the one, yeah. Uh, there, there is no knees or elbows. I think that's uh, what it makes like the different from uh, Thai boxing. So mm -hmm. it has to be like different. And we have like the takedowns as well. So it's like pretty similar uh, to like MMA striking because you have the small gloves, you have the larger distance as well because uh, you just cannot fight all the time, like uh, just keeping your hands up. And uh, we'll see from there because... Uh, when I started, actually, the uppercuts weren't allowed yeah, right. in the first when I was there. But uh, it keeps keeps on changing. Uh, now the uppercuts are already, already like, um, maybe two years ago, they already allowed it. So that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. And be before that, I remember you can, like, do as well, like, um, like single legs. But now they took it away, single legs. You need to like uh, execute more, more like uh, more like sweeps, throws like that, throws like yeah. Uh, is it is it tough with the rules always changing? Because uh, this is a brand new organization. They're tr obviously trying to make it as most appealing to the audience, and you know they're trying to bring in new viewers such as like myself and, and John. So is it tough that you're playing under this very specific rule set that could potentially change at all times, or is it doesn't matter to you how you fight or, or what the rules are? Well, for me, it it uh, doesn't matter that that much. At uh, at least when I know the rules uh, before a fight, I can like prepare myself. If I know the rules like a month before, it's it's okay. I can like prepare myself. So, anyways, yeah, it's 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 not a big deal. If they're gonna add some uh, other rules like uh, kicks to the tie, I'm already used to it because I'm sparring uh, in uh, in the gym with low kicks, with everything, with takedowns as well. So it's uh, not gonna be a big of a problem for me. I'm gonna be problem for all of the <laughs> other opponents. 